I wanted to talk for a moment about woods walking, woods stalking, um, whatever you might wish to call it. If you want to observe more wildlife and more animals, you really need to walk gently and with a peaceful spirit. People miss so much. Um, they come out hiking and it's almost like a race. You see them just rushing through a wooded area. Uh, and for some people it is. Some people it's just merely fitness and they've no interest in seeing wildlife or observing nature. It depends on your priorities. There's nothing more bothersome to me than to be out trying to observe nature and have a noisy, loud group come up from behind and pass me and go on down the trail. Now my chances of observing animals and wildlife are greatly diminished. So uh, that's just a fact of life and it's going to happen, especially if you go out on weekends. Weekdays you probably stand a much better chance of walking without uh, interruptions or disturbances. But um, I just wanted to make a few suggestions. First of all, you need to move slowly. If you're moving any faster that you become winded, um, you're probably moving too fast. You probably would cover no more than a mile an hour if you're really intent on observing nature and uh, wildlife. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about um, uh, stalking uh, or uh, trying to think of the term it escapes me but uh, there's lots of ways to walk uh, to stalk but I would highly suggest that you walk slowly and uh, carefully and try to avoid making noise. Um, I think animals do sense when we are uh, peaceful and uh, not um, loud or disturbing to them and they will come out and um, look you over and maybe let you approach a little closer. I've been able to get quite close to rabbits and um, before they spooked and a lot of animals are like this. A lot of animals if you focus on them very intently uh, just like you they can sense it and they'll become disturbed and move on. I would suggest uh, look at them for a moment, look away focus somewhere else, come back to them, look around at them again, look away. Uh, if they sense that you're not totally focused on them, they're not going to probably be disturbed very much. Um, also too, every once in a while, turn around and look at your back trail. You'd be surprised after you pass what comes out of the brush and crosses the uh, trail behind you. So uh, do a 360 every once in a while. One thing I like to do is uh, every uh, 100 meters or so, I like to uh, stop and take a knee. And I know that's not a real popular political term, but uh, still in all, uh, it's a good technique. Just take a knee and uh, pause and look around and listen. And you'll be surprised what you may see and hear. Um, up to you how long you stay at it, but um, it's a pretty good technique. I like to do it every hundred meters or so. It's also a safety uh, aspect. Uh, it gives me a chance to see if somebody's hiking up behind me, so I'm not surprised. Um, I kind of like to know what's going on around me. So just a few ideas. Uh, walk slowly, walk quietly, take your time, take a knee, Use all your senses. If you're really rambunctious and really making a lot of noise, you'll almost certainly trigger an alarm call. That was probably just a um, location call where Bird was trying to uh, locate a mate or other members of the flock and just signaling its location. You'll see that a lot with crows. Crows will sound off and then you'll hear one quite a distance away respond. Uh, an alarm call also can tip you off that something 
might be coming, like a, another hiker is being loud. So my suggestion again is take your time, uh, have a, a peaceful spirit, and enjoy your walk in the woods if you wish to see and hear more wildlife. Okay, we'll talk to you later.